passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. This will be their first trip to the red zone. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Second and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Looking to throw. More. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there. And now fourth down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So on fourth down, Andy Reid decides to send in the field goal unit. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The home side once again ready to take over offensively. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Jones now on first and 10. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. On second down now, it's Robinson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Here's Jones on third down. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to kick it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Moore now on first down. Britt's got it complete. That catch good for only a couple. After one, seven three the score on EA Sports. Here's more to throw on second down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. 
And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Thirteen yards remaining on second down. Operating from the gun. Moore. And that is incomplete. The offense on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Eluding the pressure right. And it's a fumble. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker, CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. But the focus shifts back to Daniel Jones and company. He has not had the start to this game that he envisions here in the second quarter. He's struggling a little bit. But, hey, they're in the lead right now. So kind of what's going on in his head, do you think, Charles? I think that's what he has to keep in mind. Winning the ball game is not going the way he wants in terms of his own play. But, oh, yeah, that's right, winning the ball game. So don't press. Don't try and do things outside of what's going on right now. Don't try to increase your game or get yourself right. Just make sure you continue to lead your ball club and keep them moving in the right direction. Well, they've got that lead so far. One interception for him, no touchdown passes. Throwing on first down, Jones. And this one quickly to Lamb. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. But the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside, make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. On first and 10, Jones. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Jones. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw. Jones. And throw right side complete to Parker. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick here is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? 
when they only gave up the field goal. And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Back to throw. Moore. Under pressure, and down he goes. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, trying to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Coming up on second and seven. They'll try the left side. It's Robinson. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. Looking to throw. Jones trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Now it's Patterson. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here's the home side to take over on offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now here's Robinson again on second down. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Jones from the gun on third down. And over the middle. This is Parker. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. All tied up 
at 10, two minutes left in the first half. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. From just shy of midfield, Jones, open man, the tight end, Henry. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover it? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw again. Over the middle to back him. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Three yards the gain there, second down. Back to throw, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. James Robinson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Aftershocks have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Coup for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Moore throwing on first down. Roberts got it. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Now Moore looking to throw on second down. And oh, he coughed it up. And this is picked up by the defense. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurk. 
And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second and look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So that challenge is a successful one. He's airing it out for Sanu. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Lamb. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw. Jones. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll start up at TIAA Stadium in Jacksonville, where it was the Jaguars who pick up the win at home. Christian McCaffrey, over 100 yards in the victory with two touchdown runs as well. Next, we'll stay right here in the Sunshine State, head down to Tampa, check on the Bucks, And they were winners in their ball game over the visiting Dallas Cowboys. Mac Jones, four touchdown passes in the victory. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough to check on the Patriots. And it was the visiting Dolphins who were able to get the victory. Lamar Jackson, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. And now heading back out there, here's the defense. And a big reason they have the lead right now, as we see on the screen, they're three turnovers. And how about the emotion now that the defensive team is generating for the entire team? Creating the turnovers, what they call takeaways, and turning those into points for their team. That's why they have the lead, and that's got to be exciting for those guys on the defensive side of the ball. On first down, Britt, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off the play fake. Moore. Got a man here. It's Roberts. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield.
They'll run on first down. Britt finds a seam inside the 40. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. 69 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Trailing here in the third, and that run might just be the spark that this offense needs. And don't you just get the sense that he's going around, not just in the huddle, but looking over at the bench and saying, ball, give me the ball. Let me carry this thing home. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. And I think Eifert may be in some pain. Staying down following that play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Second down, Britt, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They give it off here to the tight end. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Bulls are an extra point away from drawing level. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast. But a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired. But the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Extra point splits the uprights. And that will tie our game here in the third. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Now it's Patterson. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. A gain of three, second down. Again, it's Robinson. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Now Jones to throw on third down. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Melvin Ingram in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. To throw is more. On first and ten. He's airing it out for Sanu. He's got a man complete. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. And they rattle off a big one. The defense, they weren't fooled on that post route. They just couldn't make the play. And the offense definitely tried to fool them because you saw the other route combinations, didn't you? Anything that they were running trying to draw attention away from the deep part of the field, but still had it covered, yet they were able to come up with a nice play. 
So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. A tough run, but not a huge gain. Dropped at the 25. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll keep it on the ground. Britt down to about the 22 here. 77 yards on the ground for him so far. From the gun on third down. Moore. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the ball is knocked out. And this will be scooped up by the defense. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. One starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. And Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And you can't say enough about our man making the interception right there, Brandon. It's his 12th year in the league, and you told me before the game that he still got it, and he does. What a play that was to come away with the football. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team, because now your defense has to make that stand up. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On first down, Britt, and not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Here's second and nine. From the gun, Moore. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mitchell. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Moore. And it's caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. 
And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Boy, they had it at the one. The false start moves it to the six now for first and goal. From the gun, Moore. And it's caught. Touchdown. Andre Roberts, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bulls have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Point after here, coming up. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Five plays there on that drive. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now it's Patterson. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The home side once again ready to take over offensively. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Looking to throw, Jones. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Melvin Ingram has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. 35 yards that time on the punt. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Throwing again. Moore. He finds his man. Complete. It's Roberts. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Back to throw. Moore. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Extra point by Koo up and good. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action.
And we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. They will look to flush the memory of that pick six as we now have a brand new tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the good stuff. Moore now throwing after the interception. He's got a man. It's Tajay Sharp. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They'll run on first down. Britt. And he stopped immediately there. And there to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. Back to throw now on second and ten. In trouble, and he's taken down. Khalil Mack. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Like the footwork back there, and I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. This offense so far on third down, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be a tough third and 18. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a loose football. It's going the other way. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Out, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. First down. It's Robinson. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. From the 41, Jones. And right side, Henry's got it. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. On third down, Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Jones now on first down. And that'll be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Looking to throw. Jones, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Here's Jones on third down. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception? But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. 
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter time. And he missed it. It's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync because early in a game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets, and you might not block them quite the way you want to. But as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. I think it all came together there in breaking route, drove it with excellent pace, money throw right there to move the sticks. Here's Moore throwing on first down. A gain of six there on first. Working with his second and four. Operating from the gun, Moore. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Moore on first and 10. Over the middle, Sharp's got it complete. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like he said, listen, if you're going to sell the go. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 17, the 40, 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Two able to connect on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. There's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt, but this is still a one score game here in the fourth. Throwing after the interception. Moore. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now Moore on first down. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From the gun, Moore, and my goodness, another interception. Picked off right around the 43. And he will take this one home, it's a touchdown. Charles, we've seen him target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times there. Yeah, and it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. Well, they got stopped on that one, and it cost them six points. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A 
heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. To throw is Moore. Throwing after the interception. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun. Moore. That is caught. It's Tajay Sharp. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. More now to throw on third down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Off play action. Moore. This is caught. It's Sanu. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the gun. Moore. And Roberts with it over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Operating from the gun. Moore. Now he steps away. And out of bounds right around the 20. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he comes back with one complete. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From the gun, Moore. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Snags it for the pick. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Now here's Robinson again on second down. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. On third down. It's Robinson, and it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for the home team here, they fall a game under 500 now at three up and four down. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the loss drops them back to four and three so far. And they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.